Alright, back again Luke here, and today what I decided to do is pull that uh, Konami PC based hardware out again. There is uh, pretty much nothing, you know, nothing really useful on the internet at all about this uh, hardware here, so I figured I'd just kind of throw this out there for you guys and see if uh, maybe as a team or something we might be able to get this thing to do something and at least have some information out there for other people who uh, might possibly pick this hardware up. Um, I did get a couple of emails that uh, suggested down here for this uh, S2 cable, for this uh, nine pin cable here, to try and uh, connect up uh, a couple of these wires here. I guess uh, this one is for sending and the other one's for receiving, or maybe this one's receiving, this one's transmitting, and this one's ground. But uh, a couple of guys uh, suggested maybe just wiring the receiving and the transmitting together to see what that did. So I did that, and um, it just immediately jumped into uh, no I.O. or I.O. board bad. So I, I wasn't able to do anything there. I tried to put a resistor on the end of it. Uh, couldn't get anything to go out there. Uh, this is some really, really tricky hardware here, and uh, I can't find this particular game. I know it's a horse racing derby game. It's probably for the uh, Japan Horse Racing Association, um, but I can't find any information on this. Really don't know a lot about this machine here. Um, all all I know is that it is extremely complex and you know although it is a PC it's just uh, it's just a PC that uh, doesn't want to play games <laughs> right now so I figured I'd you know just kind of show you guys what this thing is made up of here and like I said maybe throw some things out there and maybe as a, a team or as a group or a bunch of guys who are uh, PC savvy here can maybe throw around some ideas and see what we can do about getting this thing to play games and then eventually maybe we can you know be able to help out other people who get this hardware in the future here but what I'll do here is I'll take out these screws and um, I'll show you what the inside is uh, made up of or what the inside looks like on this thing uh, this is the hard drive here it does have a slot uh, as you can see here this cover this is actually a slot for a, uh, a CD drive but um, there's no drive in it it does have a place to hook it up but there's uh, there's nothing in it currently so let's uh, take more of these screws out there's a lot of screws in this top panel so it might take a couple of seconds to get this thing off but I just, I find it really wild that there is absolutely, you know, almost no usable information on this thing. I did find out that this is made by uh, Toshiba. It's a Toshiba-based PC. Um, and, you know, all of the specs that I had told you before about the, uh, the RAM in it and the hard drive. Um, last video. I'll open this up and let you get a chance to see what the inside looks here. This is the, uh, the hard drive kind of slide this out just a little bit so I can get this cover off here. I shouldn't be putting so much tension on that to those cables there. Let me see what else is holding this thing in. I know this thing is a little bit picky as far as the screws uh, in it. Let's see what else. Uh, okay, there's one down here. This is just, you know, some wild stuff. I know people have... Uh, kind of bootleg the heck out of the uh, the Taito X2 hardware and um, you know there's really not a whole lot of info on this one whatsoever so it would be kind of awesome if we could put some heads together and see what we could do about uh, getting this arcade hardware running alright so you guys can see the inside of this thing here now see the motherboard down there Here's the power supply, a lot of connections that aren't being used. There's the RAM that's in it. Over here you can see that there's a couple of connections for your SATA cables uh, over in the corner there. Those are, I would suppose, uh, be a place here to hook up the, um, the disk drive. As you can see down here there's a ATI graphics card. probably see a little bit down there that comes you know standard with the unit but uh, this is what it's all made up of here's the uh, the power on switch here is that connector which is just run down here but uh, this is all that the, uh, the the thing is made up of here's a couple of the USB ports on the front connected to the board other than that I mean I really I have no clue you know about this machine here the uh, the code for this machine is here. That is the uh, 
the serial number, or not the serial number, but the, uh, the manufacturing number for this uh, machine. You can see right there. But nothing else on this machine at all. So uh, I looked around. I found one, one little uh, blog, I guess, in, in Japan here where somebody had uh, picked one of these things up. But, uh, you know, put up a couple of pictures of the thing showing a... Uh, you know, an I.O. board error, and that was it. There's nothing else to it, so just don't know what can be done about this. It would be nice to try and see about tricking the, the CPU to uh, think that there is something hooked up there, but I'm only imagining, I'm only guessing here that probably Konami was really, really uh, tricky about uh, their I.O. boards. They probably made it to the point where it's uh, super, super picky about maybe the, uh, the amount of signal or the uh, the exact signal that uh, the IO puts out to the PC uh, before it'll actually fire on but any suggestions you guys have or any other ideas you may have about this hardware here I am totally open to suggestions on this thing and uh, would love to see what uh, we can do to get this thing running or, or possibly running you know because although it is a, a PC, a lot of a couple of people had mentioned, you know, even if you can't get the uh, the arcade hardware to work on it, uh, you could still use it as a PC, which would be pretty decent. But you know, PCs are kind of a dime a dozen here, and I would really like to uh, keep this thing as a arcade piece of hardware, like it was intended. But let me know uh, if you have any suggestions or ideas. But Figured I'd throw this out there just one more time and let you guys take a look at it and see what it looks like here. A little bit on the inside as well as the outside, but that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.